SPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. All righty, fasten your seatbelt. We are going to cover a lot of ground right now, and here we go. We start you off earlier this morning, about 6 a.m. Doppler radar showing the showers are moving through. Timing not the best, of course. It was the morning commute that came on by. Pretty much was done by about 10 o'clock. There were a few more showers over the Santa Cruz Mountains and over the Gavilan Range, and then that was pretty much it. We were back to a mix of sun and clouds by the end of the day. Rainfall totals, not impressive. Never thought, we, in fact, a couple of days ago, we didn't think we'd get anything out of this. So every drop, a, a, a needed one and a good to see about a tenth of an inch, so we put that into the totals for the year. Temperatures pretty uniform for everybody. Low to middle and upper 50s, about 55 to uh, 58, 59 degrees. Hills, valleys, coast, all about the same and not much in the wind department today. Lots of 50s to the north, some 60s down in Southern California. We got a 32 for the high temperature there in Tahoe. That rounds out the state. We'll go national here. We've got some weather to talk about. A lot of cold air coming in now. Denver's dropped a few degrees in the last hour. They're down to 19. And do we have that dividing line again between obviously the teens and the 60s and 70s down to the south? This dividing line means a cold front. We got a storm raging. We got blizzard conditions up in the northern plains, up in Wisconsin and parts of Iowa right now. And then behind that, the cold air is filtering into Denver. Ahead of it, it's the warm air and showers and thunderstorms. We've had some severe weather tonight. Nine tornadoes reported in the last 24 hours, most of them right there again, Mississippi and on the border there of Alabama. Things will eventually quiet down tonight, but still under the gun with a lot of warnings there down in the southeast. There's our front from today. Not much, of course, fizzled as it went into Southern California. They didn't get anything. Here comes the next round of clouds. Another weak one. In fact, this one's going to be focused even more to the north. Big storm system out in the Pacific. That is not headed our way. Here's your big cold front again. All of this being pushed to the north because high pressure's right here. So as the moisture works towards us, it gets pushed northward, and we just end up with some clouds and the chance for some sprinkles here as we go into the day tomorrow. So we'll take a look at that. Weather moving back into the Pacific Northwest. Some heavy rain for them. High pressures lurking down to the south. This ends up being the winner here over the coming days. You'll watch the high shift in over us here on Thursday and Friday. That's going to lead to warmer temperatures. It's going to shut all the moisture off. And that's going to lead us into some of the nicest weather we've had in many months, actually, as it turns out. Temperatures not warming much tomorrow. We're going to be under clouds. By Thursday, some warmer air moves in, but the real push of much warmer temperatures comes Friday into Saturday and Saturday into Sunday. Here we are Friday. We're starting to warm up pretty nice. We're seeing a lot of 60s. By Sunday and Saturday afternoon, we are going to see some 70s pushing in just in time for Super Bowl Sunday. So it couldn't have worked out much better for the folks that plan that. Microcast showing again, just our rain chances here next 24 hours. A lot of clouds moving in tonight. Tomorrow, maybe some light rain up in the Santa Cruz area by noon or a little after that. The main front is in the Bay Area for the evening commute. Then that works its way southward, 6 p.m. We're starting to look at a better chance for just showers, very light if we get anything at all. And then that'll move by. And by Thursday, we're already back to a mix of partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. So for tonight, 38 to 45. We'll keep plenty of clouds in the mix there. Tomorrow, 54 to 59. We'll call it mostly cloudy with a chance of light rain. The best chance of showers going to be up in the Bay Area again in the late afternoon and early evening for their commute. 59 in San Jose, 57 in Hollister, Salinas Valley. They're not going to see anything out of this one. 59 Salinas, 57 Greenfield, 58 King City. They're just too far south. As you get up towards Monterey and the coast, we could see some light rain or some showers during the latter part of the afternoon, middle and upper 50s after the lows in the low 40s. And again, the Santa Cruz Mountains will have the best shot at all this with middle 50s tomorrow for high. So it's still a chilly day and it's damp tomorrow with a lot of cloud cover and maybe a few raindrops. Seven day forecast. So, and again, the chance on uh, tomorrow. Uh, by Thursday morning, it's really done. We'll keep a slight chance in the morning, and then we're back to partly cloudy. Friday, mostly sunny, and look at the temps on Saturday and Sunday. Mid-60s to low to mid-70s. We haven't had a couple of days like that in a while. Well, this is one of those things where you're kind of like, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because of, <laughs> you know, the at and when, when you have weather like that. The Everybody week thinks their weather is like that all look, the time. We're not trying we to, I mean, you know, we fingers crossed, place. but... Uh, and in an El Nino year, and right. we, I mean, we haven't had weather like just, that in yeah. three what months. What are the chances are we're going to have You just want to scream window. and say, come on up and play, forget Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to play in Phoenix, come up here, we'll knock this thing out. So we're good for the Super Bowl, we'll see about the AT&T. I don't right. know, it's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, so far so good, especially for We've the early done, days. The tournament's been on a Super Bowl Sunday once, remember? Yeah, now yeah. I think they work around. At least, yeah. yeah.